And I think we have a very solid base and nucleus to have an outstanding season this year. First, you'd, you'd like to be playing your best lacrosse at the end of the year. That's the first goal. Uh, second of all, you, you have so many rivalry games, you want to come out you know, on the positive in your rivalry games. Third of all, you'd like to win the ACC championship, make the NCAA tournament, go to the Final Four, and win the national championship. I think those goals are pretty consistent every year. We're definitely close this year. I mean, that is, that is our ultimate goal every year, is to make it to the Final Four and to win a national championship. I feel like this year people are going to be gunning for us, so we got to be prepared every game to play hard. This is probably the strongest attack I've ever been around, and uh, we think they, they have a chance to be a dominant force in the game. Grant and Young and Travis all, uh, all played really well last year as freshmen. Now they have another year of experience under their belt. It adds to their, uh, their confidence, which is a really big thing for us on offense. The one that I think that has a chance to be special is Grant Catalino. He's 6'5", he's 240 pounds, he's got great vision, he's, he really has great skills and, and, and when Grant can understand when it's time to draw to and throw it, and, and uh, we, we might have something special there. We have a lot of midfielders that can play. Offensively, we have a lot of quick guys. And we got a lot of big guys. They're all very strong and fast and have talent. Two-way middies is kind of a rare breed right now in uh, Division I lacrosse. You got so many guys that focus just on offense and uh, you know, try to run to the box as fast as they can to get out. But it gives us an advantage. You know, We can stay on the field. We can go from offense back to defense, and then uh, when we do get the ball back on defense, we can really push it and uh, have a very good transition game. I think it's important that when your offensive middies are out on defense, that they can get stops, and then when they get the ball from defense to offense, you can create offense in that first 10 seconds of a possession. The idea of some of our midfielders playing both ways gives us a lot more opportunities, like in transition, to you know grab a, grab a couple points a game. We spent more time in the fall getting our offensive middies experience playing defense, so hopefully it will carry over to the spring and it will allow us to, to continue to improve in our transition offense. Our midfield with Jeremy Sieverts and Dan Groot and Jeff Reynolds is we can create up top and we can score with our middies, but then you also have the three freshmen that played last year that were unbelievable. So I think we can attack from both ends and we can create from behind the goal and our middies can finish or middies create and our attack can finish. So I think that we can attack both, both sides of the field helps a lot. I'd say there's a lot of athleticism on our defense right now. I think it should be a fun year, you know. We have a lot of, a lot of speed on the defensive end, a lot of big guys too. These guys are talented and uh, they're good and I think they can perform like every other Maryland defense has in the past. We have a good group of guys on defense that will step up and uh, be able to support our team this year. Two tremendous kids, two tremendous people, families. Uh, you know, whoever plays the best will start. If they're both playing great, they'll both play. And that's kind of how we. We left it at that, and uh, they very mature. They handled it very well. Both outstanding leaders. Phipps and Carter do a great job of really controlling the defense and getting like making the good saves so that we can get upfield and get transition. I feed off Jason. Jason feeds off me. We are great friends, so we support each other, which I think is most important. And then if I'm not having a great game, Jason can come in and play unbelievable and save us come back and win, or vice versa. So we, all, we, each, we have each other's back, and we support each other no matter what. We're fully capable of winning the national championship. I think we have a very tight group of guys that are willing to put in the effort to do that. And with the experience that we have last year, I think that is 
fully possible to do that. The championship needs to come to the program, and uh, we, we deserve it. Uh, we've always been a, uh, you know, a, you know, a powerhouse of the program, um, and really, we've come so close, but it, it needs to come. I don't know, i got to do what I can to do it. The whole team is dedicated, and we really believe that we can win it, so I think that's the first step, believing in ourselves, and then the second step is proving it on the field, so I think we can.